Barry Melrose starting things off with a bang. We got him here in the studio. We got EJ Raddick via satellite. Uh, EJ, we got a report on CBC's The National last night yeah. about the Todd Bertuzzi hit, the famous hit on Steve Moore back in 2004. Yeah. And the report said that it, it might have been ordered by the Canucks coach at the time, Mark Crawford. What do you know about that story? Well, the story is basically comes from testimony that has been kind of been gathered in uh, some of the court cases that are that is that are going on concerning uh, Todd Bertuzzi, the Vancouver Canucks, the Steve Moore incident, and uh, some of the people involved talking about things that were said by particular individuals at that time. And you know, I would not characterize. I mean, we all we hear different things. I've talked to some people that were on the bench that night and are people that talked to me off the record and they did they said that their feeling was yes that Crawford did kind of pour some gasoline sort of speak on the fire he could have done a better job kind of trying to control the team and things were said and he was ang anxious and a little aggravated at, at the Steve Moore thing that said I would not characterize it at least from those conversations that I've had with people that were involved and on the bench and heard what was going on I would not characterize it as saying he ordered directly this to happen. And at the end of the day, the individual player still has to take responsibility for doing something like that. That said, I think, and Barry can speak to this, I think it is a coach's job and a manager's job to really try to uh, control their team at a certain point and not add that fire, not add that fuel to a fire. So I think that this is something we're going to hear more about. There's ongoing litigation, and, uh, you know, I don't think we've heard the last of, uh, of this talk about things that went on on the bench that night. Well, as a coach, David, I'll, t I'll tell you that retribution and revenge are part of the NHL. You can't let players do things to your team and get away with it uh, without uh, being uh, avenged. Uh, now, saying that no matter what Steve Moore did, uh, nothing that he could have done or said uh, made him deserve what happened to him. So that's, that's number one. It was a vicious hit. It was from behind. Uh, that's the hit on Naslin that started all the trouble. Uh, I'm not sure it was a real dirty hit. Vancouver thought it was a dirty hit. This started the, the whole thing and escalated to the point where we got to. Uh, there's Mark Crawford. Uh, but uh, uh, from a coach's point of view, uh, all of us have done things uh, like that. Uh, every coach in the NHL has sent a player out to fight. You can say that you didn't, uh, but you have. You've sent somebody on your bench out to fight sometime in your coaching career. Uh, but I can guarantee you, uh, no matter what Mark Crawford said in the dressing room, uh, he did not send Todd Bertuzzi out to fight. Todd Bertuzzi was Vancouver's best player. He was a 50-goal scorer. It was like sending Peter Forsberg out to fight when Mark Crawford was a coach of Colorado. You do not do that to your best player. He's too valuable. You have other players on your team. Uh, that that's their job is to take care of the physical part of your game. Uh, but uh, as EJ said, uh, more is going to come of this. It's an ugly incident. It's not done yet. Uh, and, and certainly it's something that the NHL does not need right now with all the positive things that are happening. But uh, Steve Moore did not deserve what happened to Steve Moore, no matter what yeah. he did uh, to uh, Nazan, no matter what type of hit it was. He did not deserve what happened to him that night uh, against Vancouver Canucks. Two things jump out at me about this story. It's been almost four years. It's amazing. This is yeah. the first time we're yeah. hearing about Mark Crawford. The other thing is a coach may s say, go get those guys. They don't ever say, go pile drive this guy into the face <laughs> first into the yeah. guy. So, I mean, yes, he may have... No, ordered you're, something. You're exactly, but he didn't order that. You, no, you're exactly right, and that's that's why that the Steve Moore wasn't prepared for what happened. Steve Moore had already fought once in that game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he did. So Barry. He'd, he'd stood up and, and was accounted for physically already in that game, and that's all you can ask Steve Moore. He wasn't hiding. He wasn't being a coward. He was front and center in that game. He played a regular shift, uh, and again, uh, he wasn't expecting a hit from behind and that's what makes this whole act so uh, terrible as far as I'm concerned. Todd Bertuzzi's 240 pounds. Todd Bertuzzi doesn't have to hit anyone from behind. He's as tough as there is in the NHL. Uh, this, this is why this event is so brutal as far as I'm concerned and, and one of the black eyes that the NHL had maybe uh, in the last 10 years as far as I'm concerned. It was a brutal, brutal act uh, but again Crawford would not have sent Bertuzzi out to do it uh, because of uh, Bertuzzi's stature and how good a player he was. You have guys on your bench that takes care of the physical play for each team. AJ, hey, David, go ahead. David, David, let me just add one thing yes. there. From watching that game that night, and I watched the complete game, I'll say this. Steve Moore that night was kind of beaten from pillar to post in that game. He did have a fight with Matt Cook. At every whistle, the Canucks took a chance to punch him or, or cross-check him. So I felt 
that he really did pay a price in that game prior to that incident. So to me, I just thought it was amazing that they <coughs> still felt they needed more retribution than they had already gotten in that game. All right. Uh, I want to get one more thing here, EJ. We're running out yep. of time. You talked about Scott Niedermeyer possibly returning, and then yep. last night he does. How do, what hoops did they have to jump through to get him out on the ice? Well, they